Hey guys, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olu Hadi Jisha. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. It's good to have you. Yes, please join the family already if you're pressing the subscribe button. Yeah, oh yeah. And if you're a first time, if you're not a first time, that is your returning subscriber. Welcome back. It's good to have you once again on my channel. And you might be returning, but you're not a subscriber yet. I'm judging you. I'm judging you. But really, welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you once again. So today, I'm going to be talking about defining relationships. Yes. If you are in this ship, or this sub is catching you, or you, have talk, you think I'm talking to you, I'm not cutting corners. I'm coming straight to you, I'm talking to you. If you are not in a relationship or situation, no, a situation ship that you are not defining, this video is for you. We are about to get to a situation ship that you are not going to define. This video is for you. Or you have a friend that is in this situation. Please, you better send this video to this friend because I'm talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you in my full chest. <laughs> yeah, so today is about defining relationship. I want to talk about different defining relationship. So guys, if you are interested in this kind of content, keep watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Yes, yeah, so I said I'm talking about defining relationships. Guys, I, th I think I want to break, really be seated and so I can talk to you guys however I want to. So if I'm doing with it, please just allow me that. So I'm going to talk about defining relationship here. So I feel like defining relationship or defining whatever it is that you guys are doing is really, really important. Really, really important. It's just for you guys to be sure you're on the same page. It's not that someone is thinking that um maybe we are going to we are dating, or someone is thinking that I don't even want to have anything to do with this girl or this girl, or someone is just like you guys are not just literally on the same page of your relationship. You guys are just scattered so it's better to ask the what are we questions yes a lot of guys say when the guy asks what when the girl asks what are we questions blah, blah blah but really why are you avoiding the what are we question really what are we what are we doing Get on shit now. what are we doing if you cannot say what we are doing i don't understand i feel like there's a lot of ladies i think some guys already ask what are we question that's to ask what the what are we question because it's better to know what we are doing i can't just be here and thinking about one hundred and one thing and you you're not even thinking about one bro sis what are we doing so i feel like it's quite important to ask after we question and when do we ask this what are we question i feel like there's talk, there's time for talking stage here yeah? and the talking stage should not pass or it can pass actually it might not be up to but i think the max the talking stage should be like three months my opinion please if it's anything i'm going to be saying in this video all my opinion don't come for me in the comment section please all my opinion but i just feel like talking stage should not pass so it should not pass three months max Three months, I think, like, let's say three months, you'll be able to know what the girl or the guy is up to, who they are. If you guys are talking every day for three months, that's how many days. Let's say 30, day, 30 days in a month, that's 90 days already. 90 days, you guys should be able to know a little or over a little about the person you are talking to or the person. And you know whether you can be in a relationship with the person or not. I feel like, yes, you're able to know. What kind of person is doing? There are some people that even talk for that are talking stay for a month. There are some people that are even talking stay for few weeks, and they know that they want to be with this person already. Yes, it, how it works for A does not necessarily work for B. Yes, however, it works for some people. Are even in in like right, within two weeks or three weeks, they already know they want to be with this person, and they started dating. And within four months, they already proposing marriage. It means that if it does not mean that if it works for you, it's going to necessarily work for me. No, that's the capital letter. Hey, no. I'm just saying that I feel like a max for talking stage should be three months. Let's say four months max. We're talking, yes. After four, five months, six months. Oh, God, wait till they do. We could just say, talk, 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 talk. What exactly are we doing? If you're talking for six months, we're talking for a year. See, as I'm doing this up for you people too, this up is catching me because... <laughs> I've been in a talking stage for a year. A year? Yes, I've been in a talking stage for a year. And did I ask what are we question? Yes, I did. I asked what are we? At the point, I asked what are we? And it was like, he doesn't know or he does not want to put something to it right, right there. How did you say it? He doesn't want to put a name to it right there. And I understand because there are situations where my... I don't know if I said my situation was different here, yeah, but... I don't know, different or no different, shy. The talk is the shy, te, e, te, e, te. Yes, maybe there was what, whatever it is that I was working on, whatever it is that I wanted to do, and everything, shy. But I just feel like carrying someone along in that kind of situation. See, I don't do that, but let me go back to the main thing. 
So I'm just saying that a, a situation, a situation ship, talking stage should not really pass four months or three months max. What do you talk about? But that time she ready to know. You see, even if you talk to someone for a year or two years, I can tell you that I can never know someone fully. Mm. Just that thing that you know someone fully. The person will bring up some attitude that you just like, wow, is this you? Wow, is this how you are? Wow, so you can do this. You get kind of point. So you can never actually really know someone fully. So all this talk of, I'm trying to know him very well, but it's good to know. Being a talking state for three months, four months, you can even be more than it's whatever works for you. Actually, I'm just saying my own, but being a talking state for I know the person actually, but that you know the person completely. That is not possible, bro. That's not possible. It's just you can never know the person completely. So I'm just saying that don't waste your time. When a when a talking state, when I feel like when it's not when I talk state for so long, it turns to situationship. And a situation ship eh, is when you are not defining relationship. No, let me let me let me let me know this thing. A situation ship is eh, <laughs> I don't know why this is funny to me. A situation ship is when they say you are you are not my friend, you are more than a friend to me, or are not in a relationship. Oh shit. Mm. Oh shit. Hey. Oh shit. Get it, get it. You are not my friend, you are more than a friend, but I'm not in a relationship. Oh god, you be my special friend. Oh shit. Hey. Oh shit. <laughs> Special friend. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny, but <laughs> but really special friend. That's what you call a situation ship. And you guys are just like having the body call. You just casual meet up, casual talking. And the funny thing is that you cannot own the person that be like you maybe you see something like, like you, you did this, you did this, and the person will just literally tell you to your face that but we're not dating, you're not my girlfriend, you're not my boyfriend. Like you actually have no hold on the person. You cannot hold the person and say, "Oh, you did this to me. You did that one to me." Because you, you are not dating. Let's be sincere. You are not in a relationship. You are in a situation ship, and a situation ship is literally nothing. The person can leave you one night and go away. The person can ghost you at any fucking time. Yes, the person can actually ghost you. So it's just really hard when you are talking for a long time. You are talking for a, you are just you are just talking. She must not go paying you. Ne? You get what I'm saying, but see, it now becomes a point where you're not saying you're asking the what are we question. It, it does not mean that you're pressurizing the person to commit. No, you're actually not. You're not saying you're not asking the what are we question to pressurize the person to commit. You're asking the what are we question to be able to know what you want to do with yourself, to know the next step to take by yourself. I feel like if you're in a situation, you should ask the what are we questions. It's really important. Ask the what are we questions now. And let you know the way forward. Are you moving forward? Are you going away from the person? Are you talking to the person or are you talking to the person or not? Or are you looking for better people? See, people are there, not they waste your time on that person will go to tell you be special friend though. I'm just really serious. There are people out there that, that really want to have something to do with you. So why why should you waste your time on someone that is saying uh, we are my special friend? And I've asked what are we question? So you can know what exactly it is that you're doing and not wasting your time. So you can just know the way forward. That's what I'm saying. Ask the necessary question. And the necessary question is what are we what are we doing so get out i'm not saying get out but really just ask the necessary question instead of just being in a situation ship and just wasting your time there because i can't even lie to you because after you've not been in a talking stage for person for close to a year or a year or more than a year and at the end you guys don't end up together that's like you wasted your one year or wasted your time when you could have been with someone else or what if you guys end up together it's literally possible but what if you don't end up together you just wasted your time so i'm just here to put it out to you that define your relationship really at this point and at this stage i feel like at the point and a stage of our, in our life we should be able to define our relationships be able to ask the what are we questions be able to know what exactly we are doing and just be on the right track that's it so thank you guys for watching me this video if you guys like this video please like this press the like button and if you really enjoyed the video so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i would really love you to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video